the artist and art style we're looking at today is Andy Warhol. He's most known for pop art. He's an American pop artist from the city of Pittsburgh, and he's most known for his printmaking projects. He was all about doing things over and over and over again so more people saw it, like his picture of the Campbell's soup cans. He did the soup cans because when he was a child, he was very, very sick and was only supposed to live to the age 11. So his mom would bring him Campbell's soup every day. The next piece is a picture of Marilyn Monroe. She was a famous actress. He started to experiment more with different colors. For example, using different colors in the background and how they might relate to or bring out different things in the artwork itself. Like the top left picture of Marilyn Monroe with the red background, he has the red eyeshadow on her. You already know a lot about colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. They mix together to make our secondary colors, which are orange, green, and violet. We then have complementary colors, which are across from each other on the color wheel. When they're next to each other, they automatically look good. Red and green are a set of complementary colors. Same with orange and blue and yellow and violet. When you start to think of colors for your project, think about warm color schemes, cool color schemes, and also analogous colors. Analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. So for my design, maybe I want to use violet, red, and orange, or orange, yellow, and green. You know they're going to look good because they're next to each other. When you go to make your shoe, the easiest thing to do is type in outline of whatever shoe it is. Maybe it's Yeezys, maybe it's Nike, Converse, Vans, Adidas, Reebok, whatever it is. Cleats, you could even draw. Um, I would highly suggest staying away from sandals or flip-flops or Crocs. Um, those are a little too easy. So what I did was I found my outline of my shoe. I start with the base of it. And then I kind of build myself up. It starts to build its way up the shoe. After I'm done drawing what I see, I'm going to think about the colors that I want to put in it. And once again, going back to your color theory. And then I'll show you how to transfer it. So you're technically only drawing it one time, but we're going to transfer it two times. That way, it's the exact same shoe. Draw. After you're done drawing your first shoe, what you're going to do is turn it over, put graphite all on the back of it, try and cover up your shoe. You can hold it up to the light to make sure that you didn't miss any spaces, but make sure it's really on there. Then you get your second piece of paper, put this one on top. You can always tape it if you don't want it to move. And then we start tracing our first one. When we trace it, it's going to transfer the graphite onto your second piece of paper. When you go back to your second piece of paper, you're obviously going to have to trace over it again. Um, you could do that with a Sharpie if you wanted to outline everything in black, or you can just do it with pencil. But see how it's starting to transfer and then build your shoe. That way we're only drawing it once, but you're going to transfer it two more times so that way you end up with three shoes. All three shoes are complete. I trace them with a black sharpie to make them stand out even more. Now I need to think of my color schemes. If I want to use analogous colors, those are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. They're going to look really good. Um, kind of blending together. You could use complementary colors. Those are the colors opposite each other the color wheel. You can use all primary colors. You can use all secondary colors. Warm colors, cool colors. You have so many options, but think about if you want to put designs or anything on them. I don't want to just color the shoe all blue. I want to add my own flair and my own elements to it. So first think about what's going to look best 
You can test some things out and colors out in your sketchbook first. But while I'm doing mine, I'm going to put it in fast forward while you do yours. going to glue it down to a longer piece of black paper. If you don't have that, that's okay. You could always glue them together if you wanted. Um, but I need to figure out the layout of what's going to look best. Now this is okay, but my thing is the background of these two are both warm colors. So I want to break that up by maybe putting this one in the middle, and it breaks up the harshness of the background. Remember when you go to glue, go ahead, just go around the outside, maybe make an X in the middle, flip it. I would do your bottom one and your top one first, and that way you can lay out where your middle one's going to go. This glue's seen better days. So that way it can be the most in the center as possible. Ooh, this glue. All right. After you're done, you'll just post on Artsonia, and then we'll go from there. I hope you had fun. Can't wait to see them.